Yes, this is Solomon Adams. I'm giving my review on on Shoken no Shoujin, Attack on Titan, Chapter 83, Eat Resolve. And this chapter starts off with a bit of an origin story, because we we never we knew that we we never knew that, you know, we knew that Aaron and Armin they grew up together, you know. But we never exactly knew how they exactly met each other, you know. And uh, we know about Mikasa's origin, you know, how they knew each other after, you know, she was kidnapped and by those three those three criminals, you know, tried to sell her off as a slave, you know, which is pretty, pretty messed up, you know, when you think about it. And now, and now we get to see, see, you know, Armin's story. Like, we know that Armin, you know, he's not the strongest, and, and he was, then you know, picked on, you know. Oh, and this is just, you know, and Aaron just found, and this is the way Aaron found, you know, always picked on by kids, you know. He never stood up for himself. Oh. Uh, put up for himself, and Aaron, you know, he saw something in Armin, you know, back then, and he even asked him his name, like, and back then, they, they were, back then, you know, it, it shows how much Aaron, you know, noticed Armin, you know, even way back then, like, he, then that he was different, I mean, so it makes sense when you think about it, I don't, you know, it's, uh, you know, because they were good friends. Things are right now heating up for them, because now that they want, now they have Patot and Reiner are both down, and so it's, and the Beast Titan, it's very, very, right now it's very, very big, you know, when you think about it. But this just blows things out of proportion in a big way because a lot of things were noticed, right? For example, the, the the man, the general, the Beast Titan, shows up, oh, is that right when, 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 when Armin, he's still on the floor knocked out, you know? I don't, you know, he is messed up, I've seen him. And, you know, it's pretty tense. And he has Patol right in his arms, Aaron. Getting ready. If he makes his move, he's willing to. He's he is dead ass willing to cut his throat. You know, he's gonna cut off his head if this dude makes any more move. And he knows that. And he knows that Aaron is Aaron is Grisha Jaeger's son. And he noticed knows that he's his son. But when he looks at him and said, "We are all all all, all victims of your father," like basically saying that we're the results of your father's experiments. Uh, did Grisha knew about these guys? I'm like, what the hell? Cause, uh, we knew that the secret to the Titan race was in the basement. The secret is in that basement. That there's more uh, to the Titan race that, that Grisha has not known. I mean, the whole reason they're trying to retake back Wall Maria is because, because of what's inside. Because uh, there's, no, there's something more to that. Uh, you know. Uh, but and when, and when you see his face, he looks a lot like Grisha. Like... Uh, and and Aaron noticed the similarities. Like, who is this guy? I'm like, it's not Grisha, because Grisha is supposed to be dead. I mean, Aaron ate him. I mean, the the reason the secret to the Titan shift its ability is is not just is that you some are born with the penalties, but if you if you take the injection and and you eat a Titan Titan shifter, you gain their power. I'm like, and, and, and I'm like, you gain the power of another Titan shifter by eating them. And which is which is a pretty sound theory. I mean, it's been proven that when Aaron first became a Titan, he he probably killed his father because the only thing that was left of him uh, is the key. He, and not to mention the fact, and also you know, you know his glasses because that's all that's left. If you guys know about the chapters, and if you guys read the chapters or don't know too, but this was all makes sense in season two of Attack on Titan, which is which has been said to come out next. You know, next next spring spring of 2017, after being postponed not once, not twice, but three times, which is ridiculous, a huge ridiculous. I mean, and it was and this was announced in 2014 that it was gonna come out, but damn, why did it take so damn long? You know, no, I it's one of the reasons because the manga is monthly, so you can't display a whole bunch of content, especially one that's this big. At once, you know, because the first thirty, the first twenty-five episodes are all based on, you know, from the original series, are all based on the first, on the on after the first thirty-plus chapters. I mean, and then season two, if they extend to more than twenty-five or more, it's gonna be be another thirty chapters or something. So that's gonna be like up to like anywhere between over chapter sixty to chapter seventy, you know. But that's enough about my, that's enough about the that's enough about the anime. And let's back to this. Because knowing this, this is just pretty big, you know. It's pretty big and see, 
and how intense it is. Everybody's right now rallying because they caught two of the biggest players, and the third one is right there. And I get to see Levi. Levi is disheveled, you know. You know, his body is fuming after being burned so damn much. How could this guy even move? Like, Levi is supposed to be humanity's strongest soldier, and he's proving it. He took on the Beast Titan, they're getting messed up and burned so many times, and he can still move despite all the pain, which is pretty intense, you know. You know, uh, uh, to, for me, that shows how much of a badass Levi is. We also get back to Hanji's group, you know, with John, Mikasa. Uh, they're trying to do their best, you know. Uh, they want to know what they want to know what what is their be best move now that they captured both colossal now that the colossal armor down uh, it seems that they're gonna make their move what their move is they, they want to turn some of their comrades they want to get the information in from ancient from the titan shifters and this but the information they want to understand is and it's they're not going to tell them and there's some kind of metal fragment that was inside for Tom's stomach it said it's a letter for from y from yomi to krista I mean, and we have no, we have no, no idea where is Yomi. I mean, she disappeared after what happened with the battle back at uh, back at the walls, you know, back in the back in Wall Rose. You know, she disappeared after what happened, and they tried to kidnap Aaron, and and Aaron was awakening his Titan ability to control other Titans, you know, because we don't know what the hell is going on. Because this is a very, very, very big deal, you know. Uh, which is something I still have something we still need to learn because they want to they want to make they want to get the information but they they think it's too dangerous to have them have a lie so they're gonna make one of the one of their comrades take the injection you know the injection that has the ability to turn them all into titan shifters titan shifters but they but they want to use the injection on their friends and have them eat people told or rhino uh, and have them heal up but they want to choose which guinea pig they're gonna use to test it on. Cause they want to shut Sasha because she's messed up, you know. And seeing Hanji, Hanji is literally changed, you know, especially knowing that she's lost an eye, all right, that her eye is messed up. Uh, remember, my, uh, Hanji's a bit, you know, psycho in a certain way, you know, uh, especially when it comes to her brutal experiments, you know. I'm seeing this, now, we also get some more good news that despite everything, Rhina. Uh, uh, well, uh, sorry, despite any more news, even though, no, he got messed up when he battled Potot, Armin is still alive, you know, alive, you know, because this is good news, they can give him the injection to have him come back as a Titan Shifter, because he, you know, because if it wasn't for him, victory wouldn't, wouldn't have happened, however, you know, uh, uh, however, the enemy seems, to, even though the enemy has lost uh, most of his strength, it's still, it gained the upper hand with, the, with that, well, with that, you know, crawling titan, I mean, that the that the general's controlling, he took back, he took back Bertolt, you know, you know, because, uh, but the enemy still has Reiner, which is not, which, so it ma doesn't make it a total loss. Uh, they're ready to make that move, even though Levi, he has the ejection, he's ready to use it, you know, they have a bigger problem, because right now, our men, our win just showed up right now, and our, and our men and our men, they're both hurt right now. Our men's been burned nearly to death. Armin has some internal damage, and they want to give the they only, they add, they want to give the injection to them, but they give the injection to them, but but neither one of them is ready. One of them, you know, is weak, ready, because they only have like enough for one injection, because that means that they have to choose between sharing Armin's life and Arwen, and it looks like it's going to be lead to a confrontation between Levi, I, Mikasa, and uh, and Aaron, because this is. Cause we thought stuff was bad before, and this just got a whole lot more epic. And I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Cause it looks like it's gonna be a big confrontation. I hope it doesn't. I hope things don't get any worse than it is and lead to just just this huge falling out. Cause I know it, it would be probably crazy for the story. You know, it will add more to the story. But I hope things don't get too problematic before they got a chance to fix it. You know. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This is Solomon Alex. Give a laser review on Attack on Titan. I'm on Attack on Titan Resolved, Chapter 83. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the subscribe. Thank you.